Welcome to This Week in Colorado Soccer. Eric Poloni, Danny Sanchez. Coach, two games last week. Another top-ranked team, Stanford, came to town on Thursday. You got up early on them and just didn't have enough to hold them off, and, and they're obviously they had possession most of the time, so you got to uh, take advantage of your uh, opportunities when you have them. We had been starting slow, and that wasn't the case. We came out flying. Uh, Juliana Hayward had a great chance in the first minute that their uh, player uh, blocked as it was going. I think it was going to go in. Um, and then eventually, the second phase of the corner, a great pass from Greer. Ava cuts in, slots, and Shira does what Shira does, she scores the goal. We're up one nothing, and I felt really good about the first 20, 25 minutes. The game started to get stretched a little bit, um, and then really at the end of the day, their first goal was world class. To dribble forward, to bend it around the defender, Jordi doesn't have a chance. 1-1, one, one, we're feeling okay, Eric. The, the, the dagger was the second phase of the corner kick with 30 seconds to go. Credit to their player, it was a smash, actually, uh, Jordy did get a fingertip on it, but 2-1, second half, you know, I thought I thought we played well. Um, we created a couple chances. They cleared one off the line with Faith. We had we had some other chances, but they have their All-American scores, the third goal, and that kind of kills the game off. But um, there, were, so there were some really good stretches of play in there. And then Cal on Sunday. Um, Cal now has five draws on the season, a, a goalless draw. Um, you had You had... The run of play for the most part just couldn't cash in on any of the opportunities. Yeah, like I told the team after, sometimes draws are good results, sometimes draws are a little disappointing. There's no shame in drawing with Cal, but having said that they had one shot on goal. Um, it was 11 to 1 shots for us in the first half. We just didn't do enough in the first half. I mean, the first 15 minutes, corners and chances, didn't get anything out of it. Second half, Cal played better, and I thought we started to press a little bit. We started to press for that goal, and sometimes when you want a little bit more, you're less likely to get it. Um, but having said that, we created probably our best chance of the game in the 87th minute. Credit their keeper made a great save on Shira. So 0-0 at home, not the result we wanted, but at the end of the day, uh, not the end of the world. Uh, conference play rolls on. Uh, one game this weekend at USC on Saturday. Uh, USC 9-2 and two on a roll, giving up uh, maybe one goal. Yeah, one goal in Pac-12 play in their first five games. Um, got everyone back and healthy. Uh, this will be a huge challenge for the Buffs. Uh, having said that, single game weekend, we have a lot of players from California, so we'll have a lot of support there at the match. Uh, but we're going to have to play well. We're going to have to be compact. Um, we're going to have to take better chances of our opportunities. We're not going to get the opportunities like we got against Cal. Uh, but I think that we are defending well. And um, the fact it's a one game weekend, we can throw everything out there. Well, and then you've got uh, the next three on the road. You'll go to. To Washington for those two matches. Yeah. So kind of down the down the home stretch here, three on the road, two at home, and then back on the road against Utah. Um, what do you need to do? Well, we need to get results. And now we got a result on Sunday. It wasn't the result we wanted, but at the end of the day, you got to get results. It's a tough league. We all know it. Nothing's going to change. Every one of these games, you look across the league, with the exception of maybe the Oregon's, everything else is is super super tight. So. We're going to have to take them, the old phrase, one at a time. But really, especially this weekend, one at a time. All of our focus is on USC against a team that's 9-2, and two, ranked in the top 15, and deservedly so. So, um, But we're going to come out, and we're going to be ready to go on Saturday. All right, good luck this weekend. And Thanks, uh, as always, you can follow the Buffs all season long. CUBuffs.com slash soccer, and we'll see you next week.